AI is helpful, but you don't want to use it for everything. Let me explain. My friends, we are obviously right at the leading edge of the AI revolution. A lot of people see good and bad things coming from that. I'd say it's probably a bit of both. The problem that I see popping up with people as they're going into their careers is they're using it as a crutch. I used to hear this old joke that uh, a person on the internet arguing they use statistics the way a drunk man uses light posts for support rather than illumination. I feel like that's appropriate in this situation. People are out there using AI, generative AI, large language models, chat GPT, co-pilot, these sort of things, to do things for them from scratch. It generally, it's things we don't want to do, like write our resume. But instead of using them for illumination, for assistance, to make the work more palatable, we hand them the job and walk away and hope for the best. The problem with that is AI is artificial. It's not human intelligence. It doesn't have that divine spark, if you will. And so a lot of things that are built by AI have tells, just like a poker player. You can learn to spot these things and you can see a piece of generated material and see it for what it is. This is AI generated from start to finish. You see it all the time on social media, especially LinkedIn. People are just so terrified to actually have their own words out there that they will, some of them every day, produce AI generated content start to finish. It's cheap, it's easy, you can spot it a mile away. Same thing with a resume. People hand ChatGPT a stack of dates and facts and figures and things that they've done, job titles, and say, create resume. And they think they're good because it looks nice. Some cases, look at it, you say, certainly it made the job easier. But people that aren't very good at writing, you can look at it and say, yeah, that's good writing. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. However, anybody that's seen more than 10 or 20 resumes can spot an AI-generated one a mile away. Certainly a tracking or scanning system, any automated system, they can smell their own. The robots know what the robots have made. Okay. Now with content, anytime you see a post on LinkedIn where every paragraph is led by an emoji, dead giveaway. That is AI-generated content. I'm sure somebody somewhere is doing that manually. But nine times out of ten, you know, somebody fed a topic into chat GPT, said generate post, control C, control V, and you got your content. With a resume, now, I won't tell you all the tricks, because i got to have something that I can sell. But anytime you see a resume that has bullet numbers or headings for each bullet, normal people don't write a resume with a topic. Leadership underscore semicolon and then talk about what they did at that job. It's just not how we do things. It's how an AI thinks is a good resume looks. There are quite a few more. If you want me to work on your resume, full disclosure, I use AI. How do you use AI without looking like you've clicked run and walked away and let a robot write your resume? Well, Prompt engineering is one of those things. All AIs are programs, they're software. Like any software, it's garbage in, garbage out. The software is only good as its own programming and the inputs that you give it. If the inputs that you give it are nothing but drive facts and figures and your name and job title, it's going to do the best it can. That software is going to default to its programming. If its programming says, experienced data analyst with a demonstrated history of, there, I just gave you another toe. Anybody reading that resume that's seen more than 10 or 12 of them these days knows full well you clicked run on chat GPT and walked away and hoped for the best. If that's a red flag for a hiring manager or a company, 
for you for doing a job that requires you to actually think and not require a, a, a robot to do your work for you, maybe you don't get that job. Prompt engineering takes practice. The moral of the story is even using AI takes actual intelligence. You have to understand how the AI works on a certain level in order to give it the correct prompts to get something back that you can use. And even once you get something back that you can use, it requires you to QA it, to do some sort of quality analysis. Look through it, see if what it's written makes sense. See if the sentences are formulaic or if they kind of repeat the same words. I'll give you another tell there. So just remember, generative AI, large language models, chat GPT, Grok, whichever one you like to use, they are all software. They are all robots. They are all computer programs. They are garbage in, garbage out. And if you feed them nothing, they will generate whatever they see fit. What they generate is generally going to be easily identifiable as machine-generated content. And what that says about you as an applicant may not be the message that you want to convey to a hiring manager or a company that you really want to work for. So I'll leave you with that. Somebody pulls up behind me bumping some crazy music. Hopefully it doesn't offend the YouTube uh, copyright gods. I'll leave you with that, folks. If you want my help, currently I am offering my services on TopMate. I can help you with your resume. I have partnered with a career coach, Andrea McNamara. We have a package that we offer with a special discount for veteran service members and military spouses. So I will post the link to that below. Come find me on TopMate. Let's get to work building a resume that looks like it was written by a human.